Uh, last time we left on a crash, we were stuck in that uh, hallway where we had to blow up. So we're back with that predicament. Hopefully, it won't crash again. Otherwise, this will be a very short stream. <laughs> um, I'm just going to quickly set the audio as usual, and then uh, we can get going. Fantastic. Cool. Right. May as well just continue. <laughs> Watching straight from the previous video. This is just a crash recovery. <laughs> but it was getting late in the last one, so it's sort of a good time to wrap it up. Uh, find the vents keys, but somehow ignite the gas. Maybe we can rig it somehow. Let's have a quick look, see if we can actually go up to it and rig it. See, this is the bad place. Uh, I don't even have the right weapon out. Not sure if there's like a good way of um, a point of protection. Disengage lock. I mean, in my attempts of running away, it's not seem to be uh, working. Not sure. If, if we do we have any frags? We do have frags. <laughs> there we go. Grenade. Granada. Run, 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 run. <laughs> so that gives us a bit more time. Better than just outright shooting down at it and then uh Right. So that uh, this time I'm gonna try closing the door. No! I'm not sure if that was just closing the door too late or if that doesn't work. I've tried just like shooting down a um, hallway. It doesn't seem to work. Let's see if that works. Oh! Um. Yeah. That doesn't do out. Uh, let's see if we can go this way this time. No, it just it sets the whole place up. Uh, I know we sort of like uh, need a C4. Or is there a more tactical way of going about it? Uh, somehow ignite the gas. I feel like, um, I mean, if we can get out of the area quick enough, then perfect, but we can't. <laughs> Not that I'm aware of, anyway. Is there like a nearby door? This is the closest one. I think. I think we have Are these more vents. No, we do. There's vents to sell, aren't we? We're just around that corner. Cause the whole place goes up. Grenade. Did it? That's a go at a different angle. Awesome. And know the spores have been purged. Awesome. Uh, I can't remember what level she was on. Second? There we go. I knew we'd figure it out. <laughs> Eventually. Hello. Ah, good. You survived. I was beginning to think you hadn't. Huh. You'll be pleased to know that the spore should no longer be a problem. Now all that's left is to ensure that none of this ever happens again. The research that led to these abominations must be erased. What needs to be done? 
I've managed to create a connection to the vault's backup system from here. I just have to remotely delete all the files, and we're done here. Uh, will it take long? No, it shouldn't take all that long. Just a few more moments, and that's strange. The system says that the files were accessed recently and copied Oop. to an external source. Oop. You wouldn't happen to know anything Oop. about that, would you? Actually, I actually copied the files here and sent me here to get them. I'll be honest. Yes, that sounds like something he'd do. Well, there's nothing for it then. Those files need to be erased. Hold out your arm and I'll have it done in a flash. Fine, do it. Glad you're thinking clearly. I was afraid to blink there for a second. There, all done. That wasn't so bad, was it? I've unlocked the door so you're free to run along now. Although it pains me to say it, I wouldn't have made it out of here without your help. If you're heading back toward McCarran, tell Dr. Williams that she has my thanks as well. Yay. Um, yeah, although the guy uh, was after a way of um, research in regards to making more vegetation. You see, the results here caused issues, so if we were to fold that research back, then it would have caused trouble. But we did it! If we remember right, we'll wait on this, aren't we? Yeah, we still need to give him time. So we need to return to Alice, we need to return that, so that's those two done. Anything else we can do? Uh, we can check that out. Oh, we can do that. Yeah, that's probably the only other thing that we need to do. Uh, but we do, regardless, we need to pop back to... Um, We'll need to pop back to grab Rex anyway. Uh, how do I get out of here? <laughs> it's off to the left. There we are. Entrance. I mean, I could. I guess while I'm out here, I can make my way to Jacob's Town and see what it's all about, and then I can go back for Rex. Because we're right here. Although we do so sort of need to go north and then round, by the looks of it. Yeah, we may as well while we're out here, rather than going back and forth. Uh, what gun were we using? We got a sniper. We got a carbine. Quite a bit of ammo. Yeah, I'm just gonna save after that. Now that um, oh, we we got past a nice uh, yeah. Our last save was actually very nice. <laughs> Oh yeah, we've been here. Well, I guess uh, it would have been our one of our partners in crimes. And I can say Eddie again now because it's a new stream. <laughs> uh, I've said um, in the last one, Spider Legs asked me to uh, not say Eddie, which is a channel point redemption, a Brock point redemption. Uh, it is uh, stays on it. It's only for about five minutes, but um, I might change that because it's actually a bit more fun to. Uh, See how long I could go without saying it. Oh, what's on over there? None of our beeswax for now. Uh, oh, uh oh. Ah, none of those hitting. They're all like dead shot. Oh, that was literally dead shot. Well, I guess they are hitting, but because I'm in my scope, I'm not quite seeing it. I'm running low on the old sniper ammo. Ha <laughs> ha. 
can't there's all 22 jumpsuits. <laughs> nice. How far are we from this road? I know I f normally I just try and beeline to it, but uh, yeah. The less I have to rely on Bethesda mountain climbing, the better. Here's a road. Got so much ammo for this, and the main reason being because look at the condition of the weapon. It is a bit pants as well, unfortunately, so that might be then my next investment actually, and get a decent 5.56mm weapon. Thinking about Eddie, actually, I might be getting rid of Eddie to replace him with Rex. I feel like I'm, I'm not sure if I'm just missing something, but there's a mission seems to be bugged. Like, he did play the um, Brotherhood thing. I think the Brotherhood thing, anyway. Um, but it didn't trigger anything in regards to the mission. It just said, he's got a log for you to play, which is sure did a log. Uh, oh, get him his balls. Um, the log that he played. So he's it it played the log, but it doesn't seem to be triggering anything. It's interesting these balls are considered hostile. Um, but they don't. And that's so I guess it's sort of neutral. They will probably attack if I attack them. It's almost like I don't need to bother, especially with the, these uh, silly little enemies. Silly little menaces. Hello. Come on. Oh, hello. Do a save here. Is this a super mutant area? That's like the 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 cool guys. Hello. Welcome to Jacobstown, human. You're free to walk around. Just don't stare at the nightkin. They don't like people looking at them. And if you're NCR, keep it to yourself. They're not popular around here. Pretty. I'm looking for Doctor Henry. Doc's inside the lodge. I have some questions about Jacobstown. Such as? What's the history of Jacobstown? It was a resort pre-war. I renamed it to Jacobstown after an old friend. Died a long time ago. I figured us mutants needed a place to call our own. Town's far enough away from humans so they don't bother us much. 
One of these days, I'm hoping we can trade with the rest of the wasteland. No more fighting, just get along. I'd like to know about you. Was part of a super mutant army. Ran a town, walked the wasteland with a tribal. Now I'm here. Super mutant army? Long story, so here's the short version. The Master created the Super Mutants and Nightkin. The Master thought he could unify everyone. No more differences, no more war. It didn't end well. You were a mayor? Town was Broken Hills. Bunch of Super Mutants, humans, and ghouls all living together peacefully. Well, most of the time. Tell me more about the tribal. We were looking for a Gek to save the village of Arroyo. Eventually we did. Nuked an oil rig in the process. We went separate ways after that. I went east into the Rockies, looking for other mutants like myself. Don't know what happened to my friend. I've got a feeling it turned out all right in the end. Talk about something else. All right. Why do some of the super mutants here dislike NCR? A lot of bad blood between super mutants and humans. Goes back years. Some here still got the scars and memories. Me? I don't really have a problem with the NCR. Set their sights a little too high sometimes, but they try. Legion? That's another story. What do you know about the Legion? Kaisar thinks he can change human nature. Most of the Legion is following Kaisar, not Kaisar's Kaiser. ideals. When he's gone, it'll crumble. Might not happen overnight. Might take a few decades, but it'll happen. Basic human nature. Greed, ambition, jealousy. We'll see to it. What makes the NCR too ambitious? They expand. Fast. If you got land they want, they'll take it. Eventually. Did it out west, they'll do it here. They keep rolling over people. They'll regret it. That's how revolutions start. Anything else you could tell me about the NCR? Seen them grow from a single town, Shady Sands, into the Republic. They've done good for the most part. Uh, do you have any dealings with New Vegas? Not really. Heard it's a paradise in the wasteland. Never been there myself. Doubt they'd let a mutant in. Amazes me people would come from all over the waste to throw away everything they've got in that town. Alright. What's wrong with the Nightkin? Nightkin suffers schizophrenia from the stealth boys they're always using. One of the reasons I settled Jacobstown was so they could be cured. While they're in town, the Nightkin aren't allowed to have stealth boys, so their craziness doesn't get worse. Trouble is, the Nightkin don't like being visible either. They don't take being exposed too well. Are there any town rules I need to know about? Same as any civilized town. Don't start any fights or steal anything. We'll treat you fair. Not a lot to ask. Goodbye. See you. Right. So, uh, we're here. Uh, let's just trigger it. There we go. Now, let's, uh, go back and get Rex, I guess. Is there anything else? I keep double checking. I'm gonna double check. So that's not happening. Uh, that'll probably be the next one. But, um, again, not sure how it works. Yeah, that's also seems to be broken. <laughs> Uh, that's not, then this this one, this next one, that'll probably work. Um, still need to give them time. We can return to Alice and return to Cam Uh, so, let's do this and then this, and then right, next time we're heading out, we'll grab Rex. Sounds like a plan. Um, yeah. Has uh, Eddie got uh, on him? Yes, got a load of stuff. I was thinking about vaults, and so I think that's one other thing that I really love about Fallout 4 is um, it's one of the DLCs where you can actually build an entire vault. 
uh, can be a bit tricky, but if when once it's done, it just looks it's just awesome. Just the amount of customization you can get with it, it's awesome. I just love the building feature of Fallout 4 in general. That that in itself is its own game for me. <laughs> I like just build gradually building up my own place and going out, getting more materials, coming back. It's it's very satisfying. Uh. I imagine one of these dots is not going to be too happy with me, but meh. Maybe you'd be fine better with it when I told him about the spores it was in. causing. You should have heard the director, but I wait up. Now look here. She wouldn't let him finish a sentence. Just reamed him out for sending all those people to the vault. I've never seen his face so red and twitchy. Thanks for keeping her safe. Here's the caps I promised. I knew I had a good feeling about you. Goodbye. Thanks again. Really, I owe you. Fantastic. Well, that's it. Is he still around? I received a pleasant call from Dr. Keeley. <laughs> it seems we have you to thank for keeping her alive. Very charitable of you. Vault 22 data is gone. Destroyed. Destroyed? Really? I find that hard to believe. More likely, you failed to locate the proper server. <laughs> uh, Keeley wiped the data. It's gone. Uh, the plants in the vault were dangerous. We destroyed the data. We? We? You were a part of this? After we made an explicit agreement, you have the fucking goal to destroy priceless scientific data? The authorities are going to hear about this. They're going to know your name. They're going to know your goddamn face. Now get out of this office. Get out. What are you doing in my office? What are you doing in my office? You're not welcome. Ah, <laughs> oh, bless him. Well, I don't think I give too many Fs. Uh, yeah, he's done his time. So we're good here. What we will do actually while we're here is to see if this now works. So we'll do a quick save here. In fact, probably would have been better to do that outside, but it doesn't matter. Uh, oh no, yeah, because we can. This way we'll go out the back door, but if it doesn't work, we'll reload and then go through the front door. Although I'm not really losing too much time. But, oh, I might be if I'm waiting around again. Yeah, it's back over this tower. I feel like we need to listen out of that radio. Maybe it's just something that doesn't happen straight away. Which is what I'm sort of hoping. Hello? Let's wait for about 13 hours. Get to uh, late night. It's definitely this radio. Oh. Oh. What was that? I think that was supposed to. Oh. Mr. House isn't a man to be trusted. Watch yourself. Hey, yo. I think I balked it slightly. Go on. Go over to the radio. Do you talk? will send in his best troops from the Arizona campaign. The NCR won't know what hit them. Oh, I think it's one of these things yeah. where, um, because the Great Khans were appearing near me when, um, nice it, robot. it's all pointed towards the radio, though. Don't know. I feel like it's still broken. <laughs> uh, I'll check it out another time. Uh, so next is the uh, that one.
the last thing we'll do before getting ready is um, take gun runners and s sell all our stuff. I've heard the legions planning to unleash their best men against us. Uh, is it in here? Yeah. Oh, well, some reason it says in guard barracks. Yeah. Hello. Welcome back. The bottle cap press is no longer a problem. Good. I'm sure you were thorough. Here's your payment for a job well done. Goodbye. It's been a pleasure. I wasn't a lot of experience for a quest, but oh well. <laughs> that seems to be that. Uh, still needs more time. Okay. Uh, guess that is the next mission now. We're getting there. We're getting through them. Uh, so it's that. Uh, so yes, pop to the gun runners first. And gaming all your stuff, Eddie. Right, let's have a, another confirmation on that list. Fortunately, I've not forgot about it. Uh, two, it's two of most things except for fishing batteries and scrap metal. It's a fire lights, fire hose nozzles, steam gate assemblies are mainly missing, and fishing batteries, I think. Welcome, sir, or ma'am. That intro seems too familiar to. Oh, we got eight thousand now. Oof. Uh, the intro seems too familiar to me now, which must mean I'll probably come to this place a lot in the last playthrough. <laughs> uh, oh, hold on. Yep. Yeah. Goodbye. I've got a whole load of money though, that's nuts. It's also, I also remember the uh, surgery you can have, which gives you a buff in certain areas. Alright, there we go. Yeah. Uh, cool. Yeah, just double checking the weapons I want to keep. Sir or uh, what you got for sale? Alright. That's actually worth a little bit more. It's not as good though. It's interesting. <laughs> uh, right over. Already done the eight grand, that is nuts. But we're going to buy a lot of them, so it should balance out. Forty four stim packs now. So need two conductors, two fishing batteries, I think. Oh, there's four legs. I needed a pot. Pressure cooker? Yeah, I think we did need a pressure cooker. No, don't need that much scrap metal. Um, need five of those. Two sensor modules. Okay. Don't 
don't need the slugs. Don't need BBs. Okay, right. What cool weapons do we want? We want, like I said, we wanted a 5.56, didn't we? Uh, so let's see what the our options are. So we have a pistol. Um, but I feel like it's a unique one. That's 95 DPS. We have that, a 267. Whoo! I think that's our gun. I think that's it, isn't it? Oh, there's a couple more. Light machine gun. That's what we got a moment marks from Carl. A light machine gun that uses that ammo. 237. That's a special weapon though. It's a rifle. 267. Really? Yeah. Damn. Is that? Surface rifle. And a vomit rifle. Right, yeah. Definitely uh the Bozar. That's it. There we go. We only end up giving them six grand after all we give them out. Let's sort of balance it out that way. It's nuts. Uh, okay, but we do no longer need, we no longer need this because we've got that. Boop. <laughs> that is absolutely nuts. Uh, yeah, that's fixed up. So that's fine. Cool. We shouldn't need another weapon for a while because um, that's for less as well. Cool. Oh, we need a strength of eight. That's unfortunate. Shit. Ah. No. Uh, what strength? Is it? That's also eight. Oh, well, that's not fun. Strength of eight. Uh, there was a skill, wasn't there, where I can lower it. And my strength is f well, my strength is four, so I'm gonna have to do it twice. No, I can't use it. Oh, did I, when did I save it? Because <laughs> now that's going to be losing me money. Uh, yeah, well, I guess we've got a fixed up version of that. Might be a little bit of loss of money, but it doesn't matter. That's a shame. Uh, yeah. <laughs> that's that was a little frustrating. Oh well. Yeah, I can't be able to go through it all again because I could just reload and do it, so I didn't lo lose much money. But still got loads of caps, so it's fine. Uh, yeah. There we go. I guess we've got to fix it first. <laughs> it probably would have been co more costly to fix up actually thinking about. It. I think it was like six grand or something nuts. Uh, hey, we've got all these side missions as well. I wonder if there's anything else here that we've not done. Nothing too urgent. <laughs> Mr. Cuddles. <laughs> Somewhere out there. Uh, Vault free. Oh yeah, motor runner. Yeah. The corpse of Ranger Morales. Is something else we still need to do? Yeah, in fact, we've got a few things to do. Yeah, because we've got a lot of missions like this, didn't we? Okay. Um, yeah, because isn't it something like. Um, that's out. Like there, there's. Ranger Morales' corpse right near the Repcon headquarters. We still also need to check out. I think those are again, like I say, I'll, I'll save for a later time. Unless we do run out of things actually thinking about because we're still waiting on stuff, aren't we? 
Uh, so, what are you carrying? Don't know. Right, you. Uh, terminate. Return base. End companion protocol. Uh, return base? There you go. It's gone to lucky 38. Fantastic. Uh, right, we're gonna grab Rex. Oh, we're doing weight. Yeah, weight's okay. Uh, uh, I can't remember which door it is. <laughs> I think top one? Nah, I've gone for the wrong one, I think. Doesn't matter. This guy giving me more stuff. Hey, you're yep. the one who's Barrel cactus fruit. Alright, thanks. We've got stuff we're not even allowed to sell, people. Here we go. Let's go grab Rex. I'm not sure how optimistic I'm being by the stream title, by the way. <laughs> I'm not sure if we'll make it to the point where we're um, doing a final bit of Hoover Dam this time or not, but we'll find out. I just think we will. Although we are starting off with some side things. We could just wait. <laughs> but uh, I feel like... I don't know, it's weird. I have the mentality of, like, um, I'd rather get make the most of the time that I have, like, I feel like get more stuff done rather than just waiting doing nothing. Although it doesn't really gain you anything. <laughs> um, you know, for example, like I could just wait outside um, the Omerta's and wait until Troik's done so I can get that bit done. Hello Rex. Uh, but I feel like I am just want to be as efficient at time as possible so I try to do other things I can while I'm waiting rather than just waiting around doing nothing. I think we should travel together. Bark, bark. Rex is giving you the search for Mark perk. Let's trade equipment. Do you, do you want a brain? Do you want violence brain? No? Okay. Goodbye. Fantastic. We got we got Rex. Uh I thought I was gonna do something. Still need to give him time. Yeah, yeah. So he is a uh, so he is melee, of course. Has he got range? Rex in capable of ranged attacks, and we'll continue his melee attacks. Yeah. <coughs> uh. Oh. Ah. Oh. It's currently uh. Yeah, you keep you keep there. He'd be aggressive. Is uh being aggressive? No, he's passive. Good. I'll follow your lead. Alright, he'd be passive as well then. That's what we've always been going by then. Why not? Look at us now. Should be fine. Oh no, I just realised uh, music's playing. <laughs> uh, what I usually um, upload my streams up onto YouTube, just uh, anyone can watch them back if they want to. Uh, fortunately, I'm not too bad about copyright claims. <laughs> but uh, one of the previous videos did get a claim just because of uh, the music I was playing faintly in the background when I was at um, What's Her Faces. Somewhere down here. Gibson's uh, scrapyard. There's a radio playing in that, and there's like a small, like a minute where the radio was playing. 
and uh, YouTube picked up on that. I was like, nope, copyright. <laughs> like, oh. <laughs> But uh, like I said, I'm not too not too puffed really. As long as it can be watched back, not bothered if it profitable or not. Uh, right. So we got Rex. We need to take Rex to Doctor Henry. Anything else? Yeah. Right. Yeah, we'll do the main missions first. And if we run out of these and it's still Troy needs some time, then we'll do Vault for Three. Just like here. Cool. Let's head to Jacob's Town. I feel at some point, um, just by one of these fast travels, it's going to be like, right, that's enough time. Hey, Rex boy. And that's a walk. Hey, up. Hello. Lily. Jimmy. Oh, I Little think Jimmy. Lily could be a companion. My, how you're grown up. So good of you to come visit your grandma. Who's Jimmy? Oh, Jimmy, don't you go being silly now. Come over here and give your grandma some sugar. <laughs> I think you had me confused with someone else. I, oh, of course I have, dearie. How silly of me. I didn't take my medicine yet today. How can I help you? What are you doing, Jacobstown? I watch over the big horners. They're sweet, gentle creatures. But sometimes they get ornery. Just like my grandkids. Goodbye. Talk to you soon, dear. <laughs> uh. Right. Let's find this duck there. Another human. What was enough? Oh, hey, Keen. Bother someone else. I don't want anything to do with you. Do you have a problem with humans? Humans are always staring at things. We Nightkin don't like being stared at. Is is uncomfortable. Stare at him silently at him. Uh, how does that make you different from some humans? It is different. Right now, I'm trying very hard to remain civil, and you're not making it easy with your incessant questions. Who the other? Who's the other human you mentioned? Doctor Henry. He's one of you. Go speak with him instead of me. What do you do here? I represent the Nightkin. Marcus may lead this town, but the Nightkin listen to what I have to say. Doesn't mean I don't respect Marcus for what he's trying to do. However, he doesn't truly understand the difficulties of being a Nightkin. Are the Nightkin here in Jacobson? The stealth boys we use have cumulative adverse effects on our minds. Jacobstown was supposed to be a sanctuary. A place to find a cure. Instead, we wait and wait. I'm sick of waiting. Goodbye. Finally. <laughs> Rude. Okay. Uh. Hey, yo. There's a nice stalker. Hey, Calamity. Huh. I'd heard there were new people in town, but I thought it was more super mutants. Nice to meet you. I'm Calamity. What do you do here? Most of the time. I'm Dr. Henry's research assistant. We're looking into ways to cure the, uh... I'm also handy with tools. And once in a while I venture down into the valley That's to weird. treat the big owner hides and meat for supplies. Show me what you have to say. Uh, need some repaired. Okay. Um, does anyone other than the super muses come this way? Prospectors looking for salvage, usually. They always run when they see the mutants. The great cons come this way once in a while, but they keep their distance. I think they're mostly keeping an eye on us. Uh, you have an interesting name. Thank you. Change names and jobs every decade or so just to keep things interesting. I picked Calamity this time because it sounded nice. I've never really done much science stuff till now. I'm pretty good at it. Or so Dr. Henry tells me. Goodbye. Bye. 
Hello, Dr. Henry. Uh, I assume this is about something important. You're interrupting my research. Uh, <laughs> something's wrong with my cyber dog. I was told to come to you. It's neural degradation. Biomed gel can only preserve a living brain for so long, so you'll need to find a replacement. I haven't left Jacobstown in years, but there was one woman in Novak, Gibson. Here we go. I her living with a pack of hounds. Aside from her, I know that the fiends and Caesar's legion fight alongside dogs. There could be viable specimens among them, if you can get to them. I have a new brain for Rex. Uh, quite a new brain for Rex. Oh, it gives an optional search for exceptional canine br Yeah, uh, <laughs> I already got one from the fiends. What are you working on? The Nightkin have varying degrees of mental instability due to their addiction to stealth boy use. I've been trying to come up with a cure. I'm currently investigating the local Night Stalker population, since they seem to have developed a natural stealth field. I've also gotten my hands on a working stealth boy Mark II prototype, but that experiment is riskier. I'd rather not pursue that research just yet. I'd like to help. What do you need me to do? I'm not convinced that the Night Stalker mutation is a natural one, and I need someone to investigate their lair for proof. Some of the super mutants have looked around as well, but they've come back empty-handed. Perhaps a pair of fresh eyes will have better luck. Lily might be interested in coming with you. She's lost a few of her big horns to Night Stalker attacks, and would enjoy a little revenge. Okay, what makes you think that a Night Stalker mutation isn't natural? I've compared the brain chemistry of a Nightkin to one of the local Night Stalkers we killed. They both exhibit similar neurochemical changes. Now, I'm not claiming that Night Stalkers are running around wearing stealth boys, mind you. I just don't think it's all a coincidence. Why is a stealth mo boy Mark II riskier? The stealth field has been modulated to use less power and thus last longer, but for some reason it has pronounced negative effects on the user. However, these pronounced effects will allow me to pinpoint exactly what parts of the brain they're affecting. Unfortunately, I'll need to run the test on a live subject. And Marcus has encouraged me to investigate the Night Stalker mutation first. A stealth boy use hurt humans? It's possible, but I've yet to see any hard evidence or hear of any cases where humans were negatively affected. Its negative effects are more pronounced on Nightkin. Why are you helping the Nightkin? Because Marcus asked me to, and because it's a reason for me to get up in the morning. I'd like to get one more grand accomplishment done. Let's talk about something else. If we must. Uh, you're a scientist? Yes, specializing in neuroscience, both human and canine. Of course, this lab is nothing compared to what I had when I was with the Enclave. Canine neuroscience? Cyber dogs and the like. It's not a field I work in much anymore. You were with the Enclave? Yes, but the leadership and I didn't see eye to eye, so I left. It was the right decision, since the Enclave's oil rig was destroyed not long after. Yep. Let's talk about something else. We must. Uh, I'm surprised to find another human here. I prefer the solitude, and having a bunch of super mutants around tends to keep things safe and quiet. Goodbye. Yes, yes. Alright, so we inevitably got another quest here. Uh, ask Lily to help you investigate the nice super mutations. But where are we headed for that? Oh, just north of there. Right. My. Yeah, let's try and get this done first. I don't want to use uh, the brain of a fiend dog, personally. Um, yeah, there you go. Uh, let's see if we can get Lily's help first before. Hopefully it would be like a third companion, but I have a feeling that might not be the case. Yep, Lily. But that lucky 38 is a large building. And so fancy. I'm looking into Night Stalker mutation. Want to come along with me? Oh no, dearie. Three makes a crowd. Goodbye. So, uh, Boone. <laughs> uh, we're gonna take a break. Sounds like it's gonna be an all out war with the Legion soon. Maybe I should have re enlisted after all. How do you feel about Manny Vargas? He was a good spotter. Were you also friends? Yeah, we were. Not anymore? No. <laughs> uh, I have another question about you. What outfit did you serve in the military with? First NCR recon. 
It's a sniper battalion. Sees a lot of action. They moved us around a lot. I was stationed at Camp Golf for a while. Last I heard, they're at Camp McCarran. How'd you happen to join First Recon? They pick you out if you do well at the firing range. Pays a little better. So I said okay. Is that a First Recon beret? Yeah. You can tell by the patch. Bear skull with crossed rifles behind it. Slogan underneath. What's the, sl what's the slogan? The last thing you never see. Pretty accurate. And so are we. What was Camp Golf like? It was on the front line for a while. Only resort in New Vegas no one wanted to get sent to. Doesn't have that kind of importance anymore, though. They pulled most of the troops out of there after we took the Hoover Dam. Let's talk about something else. Alright. Uh, where you at Bear Springs with First Recon? I was in a lot of places with First Recon. I don't really remember. Uh, you must have been at Bear Springs. What happened there? That part of my life's over now. And so is this discussion. Uh, why is it you aren't telling me about what to your wife? You got no right asking me that. Drop it. Uh, I want to understand you better. You don't know what you're asking. Just let it go for now. The Legion's the only thing I want on my mind right now. Uh, are you an outlaw now? No. People die out there. Often enough that no one worries about blame. They're too anxious to forget it happened in the first place, I guess. Besides... I was on break when it happened. <laughs> uh, tell me about yourself. If you want. It's not really my thing. What do you want to know? Uh, what's the best way for me to use the skills? Give me a rifle and a clear line of sight, and I'll start picking them off before they've even seen me. Didn't have much hand-to-hand -hand training, so our chances are better if you keep the enemy out of my face. I'm trained as a spotter, too. If you're looking through a scope, I can find your targets for you. Uh, let's talk about something else. Uh, I think I'd more. Does the name Benny mean anything to you? No, it doesn't. Uh, why can you tell me about New Vegas? It's NCR land for the most part. We tamed it. Now we're settling it. A lot of people complain about it, but they forget what it was like before we showed up. It's a lot of territory to secure. Too much, even for a big army like the NCRs. What do you feel about the NCR? Coming east was about securing the land so people could live without fear. It's not always that simple, but I think the cause is still right. And God help us if they lose. Any thoughts about Caesar's Legion? Yeah, lots of thoughts. All about the best ways to kill them. Uh, something else? Is there anything else we could talk about? Uh, I think we should part ways for now, Boone. If that's what you think. Uh, we'll meet up at Lucky 38. I'll make my way there. If I didn't know, if I'll check once we've got Lily. Grandma's so worried about her little baby. It's getting dangerous out there in the wasteland. Uh, look, yeah, there. Boom, those night stalkers. Always carrying my big horners. It'll be nice to give them a piece of my mind. Stealth girl perk. Here we go, so we've got two new perks. Uh, search and mark. While Rex is a companion, unequipped chems, firearms, and ammunition with short distance are highlighted when you zoom in the camera. Hmm. That's interesting. Um, while Lily is a companion, the duration of stealth poison is increased by 200%, and all sneak attack critical hits do additional 10% damage. What well, about the sneak attack stuff? That sounds cool. Okay. Uh, so we've got various places to go. Gibson's. We can go where I assume that Caesar's Legion. <laughs> uh, we can go to Gibson's graveyard. Uh, well, we, we may as well do this first. Look for a source of night stalker stuff. This is right there. Again, I don't. The less we can go back and forth, the better. Uh, Right. Seems to be north. Uh, we what? Gone the wrong way. <laughs> uh, where do we go? I guess if we follow this round. We might find it.
Or is this dissolved? It's all blocked off. Um. Is the back way out missing here? Or do we just have to walk out the front door and then go round the outside? Round the outside. Round the outside. Do 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 it. I think so. <laughs> it's all snowy. Yep. <laughs> oh well. If I were not even looked. Oh, hey up. <laughs> Uh, Vertibird Blade. Well, if you insist, but Leo isn't going to like it much. Huh. Yeah, preferably because I'm carrying some stuff. Apparently, I oh, know that's just a weapon, I guess. Uh, keep your distance. Grandma will stay out of your way, but I'll be close enough to hit. Hello again, dear. Uh, I have some questions to ask you. What do you want to know? Tell me about yourself. Oh, someone wants to hear Grandma's stories. What would you like to hear, Pumpkin? Where did you come from? I grew up in Vault 17. I never even saw the sun until I was 75 years old. That was when super mutants raided the vault and carried a lot of us off. Yes, Leo, I'm getting to that part. They made me one of them, and they put me to work in an army that was going to conquer California. You were a soldier? A spy. Sometimes an assassin. I killed a lot of folks for the master. Yes, Leo, you helped too. Who was the master? Oh, he was a nasty man, dearie. You don't want to know about him. He was the one who made that super mutant army I told you about. Uh, so fast. Someone uh, who is Leo? Leo is a very bad man, Pumpkin. Yes, you are, Leo. Don't try to deny it. He tells me to do things. Terrible things. And sometimes the medicine isn't enough to keep them quiet. Uh, but there's no one there? So he's just a voice that you hear in your head. You shouldn't say things like that where Leo can hear you, dearie. He doesn't like it. Ah, uh, where'd you get that sword? This old thing? Oh, I scavenged it off a wreck and clam it. Leo showed me how to make it all ready for chopping, didn't you, Leo? Never mind, let's do it. Uh, some of Uh, that's it. So, hold on. Oh, I'm so well, if you insist. But so, Leo carbine. Fair enough. <laughs> uh, right. Is this a, a big cliff, though? Oh. Got a problem. Could use your help. Been having trouble with NCR mercs harassing the town, and they just showed up again. How have they been harassing the town? Killing our big horners, shooting at the lodge, that sort of thing. It's getting hard to keep people from retaliating. You sure these mercenaries work for the NCR? Guess I can't say for sure if they're NCR. Wherever they are, they want us dead or gone. Why can't you just take a... What do you want me to do? You're human. They might be willing to listen to what you have to say. Maybe. I'm not asking you to kill them. Just talk them into leaving. Hell, pay them off if you have to. I'll see what I can do. Thanks. See you. Is that guy? Unfriendly... Persuasion. Speak to the leader of the mercenaries harassing Jacobstown. Yeah, it's this guy right there. Who are these? Norton. Our business is with the muties, not you. 
Uh, go away or you have to deal with me and you'll wish you were fighting Super Mutants instead. <laughs> I've always known when to fight and when to back down, and it seems to me I ought to back down this time. My men and I are leaving. You won't see us around here again. Boop. <laughs> Turn to Marcus. I had a feeling this might be a short one. Who's that? Oh, great Khan. What's that? I think that's bugging out. Uh, you won't have any more trouble with this, mercenaries. Good. Glad you didn't kill them. Letting them walk away proves we're not bloodthirsty mutants. If NCR or anybody else is looking for an excuse to attack Jacobstown, they're not going to get it from us. Story keen. Smart, charismatic, hell of a mean streak. Doesn't care for humans, prefers fighting them to talking. He's got a lot of pull with Nightkin, though. He talks, they listen. Was hoping he could draw the Nightkin to Jacobstown. Keen is saner than most, but I know he's thinking of going his own way again. He's aggressive, impatient, can't stand sitting around. Why does Keen want to leave? Because of a promise, one I haven't been able to keep. The Nightkin all suffer from schizophrenia. It's the stealth boys they use, or used to use. Nightkin have a hard time being seen like normal folks. Can't stand it. A few already left to try and find more stealth boys. Miserable situation. They either stay here and suffer, or dig up stealth boys and lose their minds. Not much of a choice. What happens if Keen leaves? That happens. There's a good chance other Nightkin will follow. It'll make it hard to get a cure to them. Worse, if Keen and the Nightkin tear up the Mojave hunting for stealth boys, people are gonna get killed. Most humans can't tell the difference between mutants. Might come here looking for payback. You're a mutant too, wouldn't the Nightkin listen to you? <laughs> That's like saying Kaisar and Kimball would listen to each other. Nightkin don't have a lot of trust for others. Mutants included. Goodbye. Makes peace with the kings now. And there you go, that was that nice and simple. Uh, See a bitter springs. See you. The runners are saying that the NCR is sending in their elite shock troops to try and push back. Ah, uh, yeah, here we go. This looks like the right path. Have to keep going up or so look maybe right there we go I think we've gone too high but I'd rather be too high than too low That looks like it. Yep. I have got a night. Stop seeing this one. Might 
best have my short range out because uh, probably not going to spawn them until they're too close. Oh, oh, it's not deep. Yeah, the big horns. Choose stealth boy. Oh baby. Damn. That was worth a lot. Unique uh super sledge. And uh, what we've come down here, was it for that choose Source of Night Stalker, Death Mute, Self Mutation. They're getting a Stealth Boy off the Night King by the looks of it. Okay. Oh. Oh. I did not realize I was low on health. Whoops. <laughs> All right. Uh, if she goes this time, then let's stick to the right. That hurt. Whee! Oh, that was weird. Oh, yeah, they hit hard, don't they? Oh baby. Okay, yep. Don't forget that. Uh do a quick save here then. Just in case one of the night stalks decides to just pounce me and one shots me somehow. Yeah, may as well go all the way around. Even though we know what's coming, but uh Ooh, I don't think we went this way last time. Is this just another way? Yeah. That leads up oh. Hello. Post war audio log. So the Reds finally hit us, just like I always said they would. Vegas is 
still there as far as I know, but that probably won't last long. Didn't get accepted into one of the vaults, so I did the next best thing and had this place built. Got massive debts, but who cares now? <laughs> That's every man for himself now. Had to take care of the Paulson boy since he knew about this place. These supplies are for me and nobody else. There's a woman and her daughter up in one of the rooms of the lodge. Might go pay him a visit tomorrow. A man's got needs. I'm so glad I died now, otherwise I would have missed that. <laughs> Gone full circle. Well, yeah, no, I feel like I uh, missed a little bit back there. Although, probably, no, no, we wouldn't have. Sits around, you go around here. That's a little dead end. But nothing here by looks of it. Oh. Bones. Yeah. Okay. Well, now we know. that done. So I need to talk to Dr. Henry anyway. Uh, so we'll go and do this first. So off to Gibson Scrubby Yard. We'll complete these uh, Jacobstown stuff first regardless of what it says with Troy. Uh, hello. So, you're back! Dr. Henry sent me. I need a br new brain for my cyber dog. Dr. Henry? Now there's a name I haven't heard in years. Hard to believe he's still alive. As for your request, it's uh, a bit ghoulish if you ask me, but... Ray is pretty old and I'll probably have to put him down soon enough. Aww. As for the price for this favor, 700 caps sounds about right. Ray's like family. And I've got other dogs to take care of. Uh, I'm offering Ray a mortality of a sort. Are you really going to put a price on that? Uh, how do you meet Dr. Henry? He and I had joined up with the same caravan. Add in a lot of whiskey and, huh, well, let's just say we got to know each other. A bounty go out well. Fair enough. Here, Ray. Mama's got something for you. <laughs> no. Bless. Well, I guess technically he's not dead. <laughs> I mean, in body he's dead, but uh, we're about to change that for the. For uh, Ray's brain, because we have Ray's brain, and we've got Violet's brain. Uh. In fact, that would have been a good opportunity to check some stuff. Yeah, let's uh, go back in. So you're back. So what you got for sale? All the money. I think it's because of my bartering level. Must be. Just realise we can't really do that, can we? Uh, is there anything she can actually give me? I need. Steam gauge assembly. That's it. Uh, let's take that back. Let's give that. Was it 1,100's worth? Uh, 
There we go. Um, we do have shotguns worth 2,900. Do we have anything that we can fix for that price? Oh, everything's only going to be 900. That's interesting. Uh, why not? And then, uh, so. I'm not too bothered with <laughs> a little um, pocket. Consider a gift. There we go. Alright, that's all our item sorters for now, which is cool. Uh, right, we've done that. How's this looking? Give him time. I feel like that's gonna take for it should only be twenty four hours, but I feel like it's been more than twenty four hours. And if I look on the wrong quest. There you go, let's do that one. Just so in, it's the arrows are only pointed at Dot Emery and not at the uh, Caesar's Legion camp. If we even just walked in and just killed everyone. Hello. Is there something else I can do for you? I have a new brain for Rex. Very well. Show me what you brought so that I can analyze its potential. Brain is from Ray, one of the old Lady Gibson stocks. <laughs> uh, yeah. All right, let's see here. Neural pathways look good. Definitely a breed of guard dog. If I transplant this brain into Rex, he'll be a bit more ferocious in his attacks. Uh, I took a downward fiend dog named Violet. Big brain on this one. All right, let's see. Huh. Damn. Heavy amounts of the chemicals used in the drug Turbo are present. Transplanting this brain will make Rex faster than he was before. Right, so there's various things. If I more ferocious, transplant Ray's brain into Rex. Have a seat. This will take a while. Rex has gained a faithful protector perk, increases attack damage. Is there something else I can do for you? Uh, how goes your research for Night King cure? Promising. But I won't be able to synthesize the drug anytime soon. I really should get back to my work. Uh, I found a chewed up stealth point in a night stalker lair. Hmm. There's still power, but the casing is cracked. I'm astonished that exposure to the stealth radiation could induce mutations so rapidly. More importantly, this explains why my research into this group of night stalkers hasn't come up with a cure for the nightkin. There's only one avenue left for me. I need to run the Mark II test on Lily. It's the only way. Why Lily not some other Nikon? Lily is eccentric, certainly, but I've never felt she was dangerous. More importantly, she asked if she could help me in some way. I've told her about the risks, and she still insists on helping me. What are the risks of the experiment? Possibly immediate and permanent metal damage. There's a reason the Stealth Boy Mark IIs never got beyond the prototype stage. Lily already has a pre-existing condition, and the experiment will likely make things worse for her. I'll talk to Lily then. I'll be waiting. No. Oh, uh. Oh. Didn't realize we've got all the stats up by that like much. Uh. Not seen any master locks yet. There's been a couple of scenarios where I wish I had a bit more repair. Uh, like if I had a repair 50 for example, I could have fixed that elevator. Yeah, let's do that. Uh, totally participate in Dr. Henry's experiment. Lily! Uh, do you still want to help Dot Henry run his experiment? Of course, dearie. I know it's dangerous, 
But it'll all turn out for the best. You'll see. I'll go to him now. It would be rude to keep him waiting. You have lost Lady Stealth Cup, okay. The equipment is hooked up and ready. We can start the test as soon as you give me the go ahead. Go ahead and start the tests. Very well. Please stand back. I don't want any erroneous readings. You're welcome to stay and observe if you want, though. All right, power on the stealth boy, Lily. Turning it on. <sighs> Feels strange. Strange, my God. Interesting. Try thinking aggressive thoughts now. Think about smashing a rad scorpion. Ah, Lily smash! Yeah! How were those readings looking, Calamity? Stealth field is unstable and scrambling things. The reading says gamma wave activity is zero. But that can't possibly be right. Gamma wave activity is zero. That can't be right. Must be a result of the interference. All right, we're done here. Go ahead and power the stealth boy down, Lily. Oh, I liked having it on. I'll get back to you on that in a moment, once I've analyzed the results. Oh. Who? Oh. <laughs> well, well. Congratulations on getting the Mark II prototype functional, Doctor. Now, just hand it over, and we'll be on our way. Speak with Keenan, try to defuse the situation. My request is perfectly reasonable. Give us the stealth boy specs, and there will be no need for us to splatter the room with your insides. Speak, Katie. What, what you do in the wasteland affects all the mutants here, but you didn't think about that, did you? No, I didn't. Not until now, anyway. Very well, human. You've made your point, and I withdraw my request. Nice work with the Nightkin. I've never seen anyone able to talk their kind out of anything once they had their mind set to it. I got a lot of useful data from the experiment, and am a lot closer to a cure than before. It's occurred to me that this brief test might not yield a cure anytime soon. However, if Lily were to continue to wear the prototype... Uh, and have 90 science scouts to solve this issue, he said nine submarines were similar. What about just testing it? This lady's too great, don't need to keep running the test. I think ladies should continue to wear the Mark Type 2 first. <laughs> uh, yeah, why not? Very well. It will be worth it, I'm sure. Alright. That's that. Uh, yeah. So it's just the main game now. Yeah, I think something's supposed to be triggering with these, but it's not happening. Uh, but I've got to at least go back and get Boone. Well, would you be waiting in the, uh, I imagine it would be waiting in the, um, the penthouse. Oh, no. Oh, yeah. Where to, partner? Uh, residential suite. Hello, Boone. Boone, you up here? Not sure where they hang out. Oh, there's Eddie.
Ah, here's Boone. He's on the toilet. Is it time? Let's travel together. I'm ready when you are. There we go. Let's uh, may as well get a rest while we're here. Uh, we sell more stuff for the. We can. Uh, that's the only thing we might need. Fishing batteries. Do we need fishing batteries? Two. I can't remember how many we needed, but I feel like we needed more than two. Oh, pilot light! <laughs> there you go. Uh, we needed four fishing batteries. There you go. Wow. Yeah. <laughs> That's fun. So what do we actually need now? I think it's just a steam gauge and a, a pilot light. Uh, oh. So we need a pilot light. We need, pro I think, one more pressure cooker. Need two fire hose nozzles. Need two steam gauge assemblies. Uh, I got an idea actually. Save it just in case it's a bit too much. But how about we uh, sleep for 24 hours? <laughs> it's a long sleep. <laughs> that might be enough for uh, the quest to progress. That's that. We're rested. Hear that. Still need to give him time. That's weird. I roller sweet. Uh casino. Casino floor. I think these are follow yeah, these follow me. So I think the only reason last time they did stop following me was because um, I went to where Mr. House is. This is where we need to be. Yeah. Not sure. Oh, there you go. <laughs> Should I have enough time to destroy the guns now? Return to. I guess we have to be outside the casino, literally. Oh, I'm gonna pop for a quick break. Uh, Welcome back to Gamora. Oh. Uh. I'll be about five minutes. Uh, be right back.
Right, I'm back. Uh, awesome. Right. I know you're good for it, but you're still gonna have to leave your weapons with me. Okie dokie. You'll get these there back you go. So we need to find a uh, Kachino? Is that his name? Yeah, it was. <laughs> I thought I was wrong with that. It's like Kachino doesn't sound right. He still sat over here. Hey, I'm not borrowing sitting down this time. Hey, what can I do for you? Truck destroyed the guns for me. Yeah, poor fucker got himself caught after he melted all the guns. Bastard mentioned your name before they shot him in the head. Oop. Now the bosses want to see you. Uh. Interesting. Uh, I have some questions about the boss's plans. All right, let's have them. Uh, I spoke to Clendon and couldn't get anything out of him. I figured you might have that problem. That guy's pretty much a mystery. I did some asking around about him. On the down low, of course. Turns out the boss's plans are right fucked without him. Killing him would probably work wonders. Just don't let anyone see you do it. What's the next step in breaking up the boss's plans? Now we cut off the head of the serpent. Big Saul and Nero have to die. Why do they need to die? As long as they're alive, they can start up their plans again. All you've managed to do is stall them. I guarantee you they have contingencies. How do we take care of the bosses? They're a little bit upset about what's been done to muck up their plans. They task me to find out who's responsible. There isn't going to be another chance to get both of them together in the same room. I'll slip you a gun and we can take them out. Uh, they're going to expect some for me. You can do it and surprise them. Alright, I'll take care of them. Just give me the word when to start shooting. <laughs> uh, what happens when the boss is gone? When they're gone, I'm gonna run this joint. Don't worry, I'll take care of this place. I'm not ready to take out the bosses. Let's go and take care of the bosses. Hurry and get ready. I'll be waiting for you there when you're ready. I hope my dad doesn't find out how much money. So, uh, let's do a save because <laughs> of this. I feel like this may go south. Uh, so, what was the quest again? Uh, Kachino has agreed to take out the Immortal bosses during our meeting with them. Go to Kachino when you're ready. Hey, what can I do for you? Okay, so I feel like we're going now. Yeah, get again. Didn't he, did he give me one as well, or did he just test it? Oh, I don't think I'm actually uh, going to be doing any shooting, but. I'm armed, just in case. Yeah, I even got a gun. <laughs> I it's tell visible. You, not at home is gonna have his day. <laughs> it's how doors work. Uh. Okay, nah. <laughs> Master of doors. Big sound. Hey, I'll there take I. care of them when you're ready. Woo! Accepted. That was a bit sudden. Um. Hey, thanks for all the hard work back there. I'm gonna run a tight ship here, don't you worry. I plan on playing some games on the casino. Of course, after all you did for me, here are some chips for you. Play, have some fun. I'm good. Uh, okay, that's up to return to Colonel Moore before the emergency plans have been foiled.
Things are good since Kachino took over. Equip my weapons. <laughs> there you go. Cool. Uh, all right. Off to Hoover Dam. Let's Hoover that dam. Oh, you're right there. We won't right. go quietly. The Legion can count on that. Hello. Have you discovered what the Omertas are up to? The Omertas were up to something big, but I stopped them. Excellent. You'd think living in the lap of luxury and power would be enough for some people, but no. But we have other problems. While investigating the Omertas, what little I could on my end, I came across something much more sinister. Evidence suggests that Mr. House is planning to make some kind of move when the battle breaks out, and I'm guessing he won't be coming to our rescue. While we don't know what his exact plans are, my orders are to take no risks. I'm sending you to take Mr. House out of the equation. Fantastic. Uh, what could Mr. House possibly up to? To name a few things off the top of my head, expand his borders, get the NCR and Legion to wipe each other out, and seize Hoover Dam. Any other questions? <laughs> Pretty much. What evidence do you have of Mr. House to make a move? We've had reported sightings of Mr. House's Securitron spying on both NCR and Legion forces. Also, given a recent analysis of the sightings, we now estimate that Mr. House has at least four times as many Securitrons as previously assumed. He wouldn't show his hand like that if he weren't prepared to move. And neither the NCR or Legion can spare the troops to investigate. Which is why I'm sending you. Any other questions? Won't get rid of Miss House have huge repercussions for New Vegas? Perhaps, but that's not my problem. Vegas is a nice place for the men to go on vacation, but it'd be an acceptable loss next to the dam. No, ma'am. Good. Then you have your orders. See that Mr. House does not present a problem. Dismissed. Alright, take it out, Mr. House. Oh, I failed a Caesar's I thing. think the Legion's planning to unleash their best men against us. I imagine that's, um, that's going one step too far. Oh yeah, we haven't got that Caesar thing anymore. Remove Mr. House as a threat to the NCR. Ooh. Which will I uh, implicate this? The house always wins. Or does it? For the Republic Part 2. Yeah, we're gonna go right back to the strip. to uh, gonna do a quick heal anyway. I'm more particularly, uh, I wonder what happens to e uh, Eddie where once this happens. I'm not sure if we just take this place over as our own or what. Hey Victor. Where to, partner? Uh, let's go to presidential suite first. Let's rest up a bit so we get well rested. No longer well rested. Yeah, we are now rested. <laughs> uh, okay. 
Um, remove this house of the threat. But where are we going? High roller sweet. I guess we're gonna go to the penthouse. Where is it directing us? It's directing us somewhere. I guess it's a secret area that we've got to access. It's a hard terminal here. It's like a secret door or something. Always a pleasure. Ah. Need a key. Let me just turn them out right. We're, we're going to take you down. What is the purpose of this delay? I changed my mind. No, you haven't. This is the second time you've promised to deliver the platinum chip. Even if you don't hold yourself to your promises, I will. What is the purpose? What needs to happen here? But to um Oh, I'm seeing a lucky v VIP card. Oh, from Jane, you think? No? From Victor? Bin house floor. Maybe. You should have seen Mr. House when he heard what you did to the Omeritas. He was as giddy as a schoolboy. Sure, how one goes about uh, obtaining a lucky 38 VIP V card, uh, VIP key card. I mean, I guess we could just try shooting the place up and seeing if anyone, anyone drops out. Or can we just ask uh, Mr. House to give us one what for reason? Uh, I don't want to start just shooting up the place, but we might have to. <laughs> Unfortunately, again, the arrows aren't being too um, helpful. I mean, at very least, we could probably shoot shoot up a robot, see if um, they've got the card that we need. If that's the case, then it might just be what we need to do. But hey. As I thought, none of these have what we need. And Mr. House is disconnected. Oh, Victor's not too happy anymore. Oh, Victor disappeared. Right, 
Right. So that tells me that it's not what we need to do. <laughs> We do at least have to go to the penthouse to discover that we need a VIP card though. Because that doesn't even pop up until um, this bit. Boop. There you go. Obtain a lucky 38 VIP keycard. But how? Maybe uh, investigation of parts of the casino, maybe? Does it actually tell us to go back up if we go as well? Or is it, oh, is it somewhere here? Let's go to the casino first. I doubt it'll be down here, but you never know. Oh, yeah, it's telling us to go back out. Which is odd. What's this? Okay. Yeah. That's interesting. Uh, we need to go get our companions again now. Because we left them in the uh, presidential suite. Follow me. And boom. No good. Suite. Casino floor. Alright. So all the way out there for reasons. There's also four three four for reasons. <laughs> oh around here. <laughs> it might be following up that path but let's try going here and going straight to it. Oh the gypsum train yards where the death claws were. Yep. You knocked that Rex! It's a good weapon, but unfortunately, I think it might even be a bug on just how it is. Is you don't see the enemy's health go down when you're in scope, which is a bit annoying. It's interesting we just randomly directed it though without any, any prompts. Yeah, it looks like this building, doesn't it? It's heavily defended. Or at least it's got fortifications, whether the man or not is a different question. Hop. A treaty with oh, a great it's an NCR place. Um, I don't feel like. The not quite discovered this place. Yet. There we go. Oh, I got a walk of the Mojave achievement. Camp Golf. So allegedly, it's here. It's <laughs> interesting. Wait, why did I hear about Camp Golf for? Why is the uh, Lucky 38 VIP keycard here? Oh, it's 
Very interesting. Why did the NCR let me know if this was the case? Unless you don't know about it. But again, it's weird that we just we just came across a door and we knew it was here. That's a bit of poor structure there, <laughs> but it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Uh, yeah, we're liked here. What's in this like back room? Okay. How random. <laughs> Not sure. If that doesn't seem right. <laughs> okay. Not sure how. Yeah, it doesn't seem right. Context doesn't seem to work out there. Why do they have a lucky 38 VIP key card in Camp Golf? Doesn't. I don't know. That's that's weird. Where to, partner? Alright, uh, penthouse. This time we've got a key card. I imagine this is going to trigger bad things anyway the second we open it. So we can do it stealthily. Hey, don't look. No looking. Ah. There you go. Ah, there you go. Unauthorized user. Does that mean everyone's. Yeah. Hello. Right, so this is always going to be the case. Hello, Mr. House. Yeah, I remember this. Well, <laughs> done this centuries of preparation. So much good. Undone. Yeah, and so asked me to get rid of you. Those snakes. For them, you <laughs> sad, misguided, poor. You won't be able to control anything, but I'll let you live. I'll put you back in YouTube. Good as new. <laughs> uh. I'm not sure what the uh, good decision is here. I'm gonna just leave him live. I feel like it's a bad karma thing. Do we just have to kill him? 
No, we just simply have to remove it as a threat. So why was that option about the fact that we could... Ah, there we go, sterilize Alice. Disable cerebral interface. How could we were unable to control some systems? Yes. That's it. I lost karma. Yeah, thought so. I don't want to lose karma. So I guess the uh, way is to make him... Uh, just kill him off. He so doesn't have to suffer. Why does this not work then? There you go, sterilize it. Listen. Lethal shock risk if air that's is occupied. Evil way is losing karma. Oh! Okay, so evil way that loses karma. Let's see if we just shoot him in the head. Huh! Huh. That's karma. Yeah, it's, it's losing karma either way here. Either way, we're not doing a good thing. Which makes me sort of regret. I have nothing to say to you. Oh, I guess we're going to lose a bit of karma. We'll do it the way we're going to do it then. If we're going to lose karma anyway. <laughs> House has gone bust. You have irrevocably disconnected Smith's house or lucky if he has many free computers. There you go. Nope, and then instantly failed. Oh, these are all good for me. Interesting. But who do we give um, snow globes to now? He signed a treaty with a great con. Hello. Report. Is Mr. House still a threat? His house won't be a problem. He's disconnected from his system. But he's still alive? I'll have to remember to send someone to follow up on that later. Anyway, at least he's out of the picture for the time being. You might be happy to know that your efforts haven't gone unnoticed either. The brass have been throwing around the idea of having the president visit the dam for a while now, to rally the troops and boost morale and such. With our recent achievements, they finally feel secure enough to stage the damn thing. But while it's being planned, I have one last mission for you. Several years ago, we managed to wrest the Helios-1 solar power station from the Brotherhood of Steel chapter local to this area. It was a crushing victory, but no one's heard a peep from the Brotherhood since. Most people assume the Brotherhood is scattered and not a threat. Recently, we've had scouts go missing in an area west of Helios, and I'm concerned that the Brotherhood is involved. I want you to find them, and once you do, finish them for good. Any questions? Well, wow. is it a peaceful way to resolve this? No. Just because you secured the aid of the Khans, assuming they don't try to kill us, don't think the Brotherhood will be so easily swayed. These are people that both hate us and outgun us. There can be no compromise. Anything else? I expect me to destroy an entire Brotherhood chapter. A fair question, and one I've had our strategists think about for some time. Their consensus is that we must focus on the one thing we can count on. With the Brotherhood, that's their obsessive attachment to technology. They'd never go anywhere that didn't have working power. 
I'm willing to bet that wherever they're hiding, there's a working reactor powering their equipment. That's their vulnerability. Detonate that reactor, and we can safely cross the Brotherhood off our list of concerns. Is there anything else? I thought the Brotherhood were all wiped out at the EDS one. How could they have survived? After the battle, we consolidated our hold on the plant before pursuing our enemies. It was a mistake, to be sure, but there wasn't really any place for them to go. When we finally gave chase, however, they had simply vanished. Some of our people think they had some means of conveyance, like the vertebrates the Enclave used and hightailed it out of here. I think that they found some place to hide close to Helios and never went that far at all. Any other questions? Where should I start looking for? Where should I start looking for? were some ways west of Helios when they disappeared. No, ma'am. Dismissed. <laughs> we signed a treaty. Well, that's a bit of a way off. It's more, it's closer to being north of um, with the, great the NCR correctional facility. I've been there in a while. Or anywhere around that area. Yeah, in fact, it's probably back. Uh, no, I think this is close. Especially it looks like there's a road that goes right to it. Let's see if we could just uh, go straight there. I think, unfortunately, there's some fence in the way. Oh no, I think there might be holes. A good doggy. I got a good doggy. Oh, dangerous size. Best passage will be shot. I think I remember this place. In fact, this seems to be the way to go. That's why it's telling me to go west from Hedos 1. I guess it's from what they know, isn't it? Hidden Valley. Remember, rightly, this can be a bit of a pain place, especially if you're shooting your way through. I'm not sure if it's like a DLC or something where I remember getting knocked out by him. Um, we've got a pot of scorpions. There's nice this rock. Oh, it might be like a tunnel, I think. Yeah, I remember getting like lost. I was like, this makes no sense. But then I feel like there's uh, one of the ways is. Um, oh, there's something right here. Oh. Storm stopped. Now sudden. Uh, let's go in here and see what this is. It's telling me to come back out, but yeah, we're here. <laughs> let's see what it is. Yeah, it seems familiar. Hey, hello. Listen very closely and do as I say. Your life depends on it. Smooth steel. Carrying. Weapons, ammo, clothes, armor, everything. I want you stripped down of your underwear. 
<laughs> what's going on here? I told you what to do. Strip off your clothes and equipment or face summary execution. Will you comply? Okay, I'll comply. Take it all off and hand it to me. And come inside and through the door at the rear of the chamber. Ballad and Ramos is waiting for you. When did I last save it? Oh. <laughs> uh, in fact, when's the last auto save? Let's just quickly do that. Save it here. Just in case. Uh, yeah, because it was the reactors were actually after, wasn't it? So, where did the storm just suddenly stopped? Like this rock, isn't it? Duct tape. I think we're just generally supposed to come here, aren't we? Oh, that's another entrance, is it? Yeah, There's two ways into the same place. Yeah. Hello. Wow. You hear nothing. Hello. So this is a disused part of the um, base. Oh, there was a locked door that led to Duffy. It looks like we're going this way then. Unless again I'm missing something. I know my luck. Would have just been a matter of. Uh, Yeah, there's another one out here, look. I guess we were supposed to be just finding out which one's a proper one and then to find it. So I guess we, we do need to go in. Save one more time, and then uh, we shall go in. Hmm. Listen very Hello. closely and do it. And Oh, we could have done let's talk this over. I don't think it will though. It doesn't matter. How the hell did you get in here? Normally I would have already shot you, but I'm under orders to bring you to the elder. Will you come peacefully? Ask BT Elder, lead away. Okay. I'll take you to him. Follow me. Closely. 
or you'll be shot. Yeah, NCL seems like a good idea all the way up to later parts when you feel like, oh, now we're starting to do the dirty work. Elder M Namara. How did you find us, stranger? And do tell the truth. I was just explaining the errand of patrol. It was a complete accident, I swear. Yeah. You took an extreme risk in coming here. My policy towards trespassers has not been lenient. The security of this bunker is my foremost concern. And I take pains to minimize our exposure topside. For this reason, I might be interested in contracting with an outsider who can accomplish certain tasks, some basic, some a bit more involved. An NCR ranger has begun to set up post in one of the other bunkers up top, for example. I want him driven off. Understood? Uh, why don't you get uh, no interest? I'm not, I don't do murder for hire. Uh,. Very well. I'll be interested to see how thoroughly and efficiently you carry out your mission. Paladin Ramos will escort you back to the bunker's entrance and set you loose. Notice that I said loose, not free. You are not free to carry the secret of this bunker's location beyond Hidden Valley. Until I'm convinced that you're capable and dependable. To underscore this point, you'll be fitted with an explosive collar. Wander off and it will detonate. Focus on your mission. And you'll be fine. Fun times. You'll find your equipment in the chest to your right. Don't bother coming back until you've dealt with the ranger. I feel like you can um, try to take off the color. Oh no, you can't. Oh. How's this look on me? It's way too slow. Alright, hopefully we don't have to kill this guy. It's still in the dark. Deal with him in the orange. It said deal with him. Hopefully that doesn't mean we have to kill him. How far is he? It's just here. Ah, it's in here. Hey, yep. Thought you'd sneak up on me, you filthy powder ganger? Keep pointing that gun at me, I'll stick up your ass. <laughs> Got some stones on you, son. I like that. What can I do for you? Who are you? Dobson's my name. I'm an NCR ranger operating out of Camp McCarran, north of here. Redding man by birth, though. What are you doing here? Well, I thought I might set up a safe house in one of the bunkers here. Between the remote location and the dust storms, I figured it was ideal. Of course, seems a lot less remote since you showed up. Plus, I haven't been able to get my radio working, and a safe house is no good without one. I reckon I'll stick around a while, patrol for troublemakers, see if I can get that radio working. So no one knows you here? Standard practice. Rangers operate on our own most of the time, and that's how we like it. Usually we call in our positions to McCarran to be relayed to other rangers, but I can handle myself. I'm sure as hell not going to lose any sleep on account of a goddamn broken down radio. But it will shorten my stay if I can't fix it. What are the powder gangers? <laughs> Criminal scum that have infested this region. Attacking caravans and regular folk just passing through. The dangerous ones are roamers. Though there's another group that mostly stays put over at the prison southwest of here. Or so they did, till NCR Brass finally mustered up enough troops to take out the trash. 
Wish I could have been there. This seems like a bad location for a safe house. You gotta get out of here. Now why would I do that? You see some powder gangers on the approach or something? The powder gangers use these bunkers as hideouts once or twice a month. Uh, there's a base inside one of the bunkers. They sent me after you. A brotherhood base? Here? Are you shitting me? No one's seen them for years. I don't suppose you've got a scrap of evidence to support this wild-eyed claim of yours. How about this explosive color around my neck? I'll be. Let me take a look at that. All this is, is a slave collar. Seen plenty of these infernal contraptions in my day, and I know just how to spring them. Hold still. There. It's off. Now, thing is, a slave collar seems a little too basic for the Brotherhood. That's not to say I don't believe you, but... Did you just hear something? Ah! That's it, we're fighting the. Uh, oh my god. I mean, we could have done this differently actually. Yeah, no, um, I know I don't usually go back on what I did, but we could send them off and we could get in. Usually, the reason I'm doing it differently because I definitely remember last time we ended up just having to fight away for all the Brotherhood and it was a bit of a ball ache. Uh, but what I want to do this time is try and infiltrate it properly. Thought you'd sneak up on me, you. And I think uh, it'll work if um, we. Oh. There you go. You've seen that with your own two eyes. God damn! I knew Cook's gang passed through these parts about that frequently, but I didn't know they hold up here. Be a rude awakening to find 15 of those merciless bastards looking down at me snoozing on my bedroll. Yep, I'd be better off setting up an ambush along one of their routes to catch stragglers. Thanks for the information. You may have saved my life. There you go. So... Yeah. Yeah, I don't, I don't mind going back and... Ooh. I think that's a... Scorpion... Yeah. <laughs> yeah, like I say, I don't, I don't usually go back on things that I've decided to do, but... I remember now that's definitely something I did last time. And, um... Yeah, it just involves me having to go back in and try and, and kill every last brother of the steel member in that bunker. And then get the reactor, which I've already, I already done before, and it, I felt just as bad last time because, like, oh, I wanted to infiltrate him. <laughs> so I'm doing it this time. Yeah, hello. Oh. Stand back from the door. The elder's eager to hear your report. Technically, we are still on this, but yeah, apparently that's sending us out. Find them and uh, deal with them. Maybe if we can get them out of here, that'd be enough. How did you resolve the situation with the ranger? The ranger won't be a problem. He's gone. Gone? Why did he leave? And what makes you think he won't be back? I convinced him that staying here was more dangerous than moving on. Yes, you exploited his fear of powder gangers very effectively. The collar includes a microphone, you see. Yeah. Part of the test. He'll keep his distance, setting ambushes, never suspecting that these bunkers house something far more dangerous to him than criminals. Well played. Since you completed your assigned task, I will allow you to come and go from the bunker freely. So let's get that collar off you. There, that's better, I hope. Now that we have that bit of unpleasantness out of the way, there is a matter that I would like to discuss with you. Stop by the command room when you can. Oh, and bear in mind, <laughs> if you end up betraying us, we will know it, and there will be no mercy. <laughs> okay. Uh, 
This also feels familiar. Where uh, I, I took this opportunity now I'm in to. Uh, turret control terminal. Hello. Your presence here, let's just say it's highly irregular. Outsiders aren't even allowed to know that our bunker's here, let alone come and go freely. You impressed Elder McNamara, obviously. He must believe that you'd be very useful. So you had security? That's right. Nothing gets in or out of here without me knowing it. So why did you have to deal with that? Why did I have to deal with that range of topside? Normally, that would have fallen under my jurisdiction. But the Elder thought it provided a good test for you. So I backed off. What exactly are the rules regarding entering and leaving? Under the lockdown, only essential personnel are permitted to enter or leave. That includes supply runners and high security patrols. All other personnel are forbidden to leave, and any personnel that were out there when the lockdown was enacted are forbidden from returning. Fine by me. See you later. Bye. Yeah, I remember this being a big old place with turrets and everything. This place is a nightmare to take down. So now it's also a bit worrisome that um, we have to do something with this place. I want to try and get rid of him diplomatically. Uh, but as um, Moore says, I don't think it's going to happen. There's got to be an alternate way, because I ain't dealing with all these. <laughs> oh, yeah, she's stunted. Sorry, but I'm a little busy here. If you'll excuse me. Okay. <laughs> Funny enough, we got an NCR guy right with us. Oh, X NCR, I guess. Hello. Scribe Ibsen. Look, this isn't a great time. Oh, what the hell? It's not like we're making any progress. I'm Ibsen, and I hope your day is going better than mine is. So if you're wrong? Yeah, I'm in charge of keeping this data system up and running, but accessing it is a little, uh, touch and go at the moment. Why's that? One of our exploratory patrols, back when we had exploratory patrols, found a data disk in some ruins out in the waste. Well, we finally got around to cataloging the damn thing and got shut out of our own data store the second it loaded. Turns out it had a virus on it. Aren't there any patrols anymore? Oh, there are patrols. Just not exploratory ones. We've been in a state of lockdown for, well, let's just say it's been a while. The only time anyone gets to go topside is guard duty or to gather provisions. Other than that, it's steel walls and fluorescent lights for us. That's horrible. Nah, it's not so bad. The world outside isn't exactly a paradise, you know. Still, you can only breathe recirculated air for so long. We've got more than a few people in here who are going a little stir crazy. What kind of information is in the data store? Oh, all kinds of things. There was already information regarding the layout and systems of this bunker, but we've since added our own data as well. Prior to the lockdown, we had extensively scouted the surrounding area and compiled dossiers on nearby points of interest. About the virus. Yes, did you have an idea that might help us? Hey, <laughs> you can just leave the files out. We get rid of the virus, right? Uh, anything I do to help? I suppose it couldn't hurt to get another pair of eyes on this. Maybe you'll be able to come up with something coming at it fresh. While the entire system is infected, the virus itself is spread across three terminals. The problem is that it keeps moving periodically. We'll have it nailed down in a terminal or two, only to have it jump to another set of terminals before we locate the third. What do I need to do? You'll need to locate it on three different terminals in this area in one minute. Any longer and it'll jump, and you'll have to start all over. Locating the virus would probably be nearly impossible, but the pompous little bastard that wrote it made things a little easier for us. Normally, terminals infected by the virus just display gibberish, but we found that terminals the virus moved to had some real data passed to them. 
We were able to decrypt the data and discovered that it was just messages from the virus's writer taunting his victims. When you find terminals with those messages, lock them down and move on. Find three of them before the virus jumps, and we'll wipe the damn thing. I'll give it a try, then. Best of luck to you. I'll tell the others to take a break so they don't get in your way. Oh, and I'll keep track of when it jumps for you. To maximize your chances, wait for my signal before you begin. The NCR is making friends. We've had reports of them making overtures to someone. There's a quest door. Gang the free side. Oh my god, there's a whole load of terminals. The virus just jumped. Find which terminals it went to. Oh. Ah. Oh. Ten seconds. Ah. <laughs> Find one. Damn, it's jumped. I thought we might have had it that time. Did you want to try isolating the... All right. I'll... The virus just jumped. Find what... Terminals it went to. Got it. That's it. We got it. The virus has been purged. You actually did it? If you don't mind my saying so, I didn't think you had a chance in hell of pulling it off. But I'm glad to be wrong for once. Thank you, my friend. Please feel free to access the data store at your leisure. I'm only allowed to give you access to non-classified topics, but it's better than nothing, right? How do you access some more topics in this store? Well, you'd have to get a senior level member of the chapter to unlock a topic for you. I've given you access to what I can, but that's not much. The majority of topics fall under Ramos's aegis, since they'd constitute a security risk. Good luck getting anything out of him. You might have better luck with another member of the senior staff. Try talking to them about it. I see the machines from Fallout 3.
Looks like Mr. House is out of the picture. One less thing for us to... Yes, what is it? Uh, and you all? Ah, the outsider. I suppose it's too much to ask that jarhead Ramos to keep outsiders away from my research. I am head scribe Taggart, and I am much too busy to deal with the likes of you right now. Wow. Hello. Yeah? What's with all the computers? It's our virtual reality training hall. We don't really go out all that often anymore, so this is how we stay sharp. You said any more before. Did the brother used to go out? Yeah, a lot more. Back when we were at the Helio station. Oh, crap. I'm pretty sure I'm not supposed to talk about that, especially with outsiders. So forget you just heard that, okay? Shouldn't you be in school or something? Head scribe Taggart quickly realized my extraordinary talent when I took the mandatory VR combat testing. Soon after that, he requested that I get transferred to VR specialist training, serving as his assistant. I miss hanging out with the other students all the time, but at least I get to skip all those boring lectures. Tell me about yourself. Well, like just about everyone else here, I grew up in the Brotherhood. My father was a scribe and my mother a paladin. And your parents here somewhere? They both died at Helios 1. The others were always like a family to me before that, but afterward they became my family in truth. So do you take after more? your mother or your father? I don't know. I'm a little like both of them, I guess. If I had to choose, I really don't know which I'd pick. That's a question I've been asked a lot lately, since it's something I have to decide for myself soon. What do you mean, decide for yourself? I'm currently an apprentice in the Brotherhood, and recently became eligible for journeyman status. But first, I have to decide which order I want to join. The Knights or the Scribes? Tell me about the Knights. Knights are in charge of all of our equipment. Power armor, Gatling lasers, you name it. All of it built and maintained by Knights. Knights also get to go out on patrols, scouting assignments, and support the Paladins in offensive operations. Being a Knight would mean getting to see more of the world, fight the Brotherhood's enemies, and possibly someday become a paladin like my mother. The scribes are responsible for discovering how all the old tech we recover actually works, and sometimes even work on inventing new things. Without them, the Brotherhood could never fulfill its mission. Or at least that's what my dad always used to say. Time for me to go. Self-destruct authorization terminal. Hey. <laughs> if I order the Elder McNamara engaging in a bunker self-destruct sequence, it requires the ass ascent of the head scribe, head paladin, and elder of the chapter. Each of these brothers has been given a key card to be produced in case of emergency. When all three key cards are inserted below, the password to the self destruct terminal to the right will be generated. Need to pour and loss of storm. Okay. Huh. Uh. So who did it say again? The Elder, Head Scribe, and Head Paladin. Interesting. <laughs> oh. Or oh, I could just hack it here very hard. I need a sight skill of 100 to do that though. That's hilarious. Uh, I saved it, so let's have a look. Are we able to just check? We do. We just, just have it. That was calm. But that might be the way. Suddenly our comments uh, getting a bit of a tank. Up on our doorstep, I'll admit at first I didn't know what to think. After giving the matter some thought, however, I've decided that an outsider could be of great use to me right now. However, I will not force you to help us. Should you refuse, you will be allowed to leave here. Though no, we will be keeping an eye on you. What do you say, outsider? Are you willing to help us? Nah. Then that is your choice. If you should change your mind, please return. T 
hee hee hee. Uh, right, now we just need to head Paladin's key card and then we are golden. The thing is, I think this might be the better way because I'll definitely have to do a brotherhood play for at some point. Hello. Oh. Ooh. Uh, head Paladin. Oh, he's right here. I am not even talked to him, but you know what? We're not going to need to. Just need your key card. Oh no! <laughs> oh, I have to just steal him again. That's unfortunate. Okay, I think I just really struck lucky then. If uh, that's the case. Oh come on! There you go. That's that one. thing is we can probably just run out of it because I'm starting a self-destruct sequence so I imagine uh, the place is not going to be around for much longer if uh, that happens. Nope. <laughs> we are technically hidden so that should work. Oh, detected. Hidden. Nope. <laughs> nope. Why well, just being really unlucky? Why is it just the positioning? Is they saying I'm hidden? Hidden in the hidden valley. There you go. There you go. We may have to do a, a bit of a, a bolt out of here. Uh, yeah, that's a way out. Morning. The game bunker self destruct sequence. Are you sure you would like to initiate? Yes. Ooh. Please exit the bunker in a calm, orderly fashion. Run, 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 run. I got a wrong way, haven't I? Hello. Oh. Let's just get the hell out of here. This place is gonna blow. <laughs> <laughs> Apparently we can still do that, that's quite funny. So we need to head left. Eat this. Fortunately the guns aren't on us, which is interesting. Ooh, boons down. Left, right, right, rather. Ooh. Oh! Stim packs! <laughs> Let's make the presumption that uh, it's been triggered and we're probably going to have to go right back to over them. No, we can't. Oh! Lost karma. So much karma loss. Tend to your business. Oh, and another one. I guess it's pretty much all the um, 
Can we go back in now? Did everyone die? Oh. We can go back in and loot it all, but uh, we need a good luck picking skill to do so. Oh, don't I feel bad. What's my karma like now? Can I find out? <laughs> from my cold dead hands. Um, now I'm not sure if there's a way of seeing what my karma level's at. Oh, I feel bad. <laughs> what was supposed to be a good playthrough. I think this is what happened last time. I was like, NCR seem to be the better ones. And then it turns out, I was like, well, they do a lot of dirty work to make that happen. Now I just feel used. I mean, we could have just continued doing things with a bit of steel and uh, see if we can get him to leave, but. Yeah. I don't think that was going to happen. Has the Brotherhood been found? The Brotherhood have been eliminated. Oh, that's a relief. A Brotherhood attack while we're busy with the Legion would be catastrophic. The situation being what it is, we can't afford to lose even a single man unnecessarily. But we've got more important matters to attend to. The President is due to arrive soon, and we're sure the Legion won't waste such an opportunity. I want you to assist the security detail we've prepared for the President. His safety is critical to maintaining the men's fighting spirit. Go up to the visitor's center and speak to Ranger Grant. He's in charge of security during the president's visit. Dismissed. Hey, radalized. But of what cost? At what cost? Uh, actually, it's all coming back to me as well. You'll know what happens. Report to. Okay. I feel like I sided with the NCR last. In fact, I've done a few. I remember siding with the house. I've done the Yes Man one, which is basically what um, Victor turns out to be, I think. Um, oh no, it's like um, I think it's what well, Benny's like on the side or something. I've heard of you. I'm glad you're here to help us out. This is a delicate I've definitely done the NCR before. This is what I'm doing trust. now. Like I said, I don't mind doing it again because I've done it in ages. Time. Once we start, we'll be on a strict timetable. Are you ready? All set. Good. The president doesn't arrive until tomorrow. Get some rest. I'll brief you in the morning. Glad you could join us. Most of my men are already on duty. And the crowd has already started gathering outside. We've got a busy day ahead of us. So what's the plan for today? The plan is to get through today without the shit hitting the fan. So I'll be overseeing the security team personally, and keeping in constant contact with people over the radio. It's a good bet that the Legion is gonna try something today, so we have to be prepared for anything. We'll do whatever it takes to get the President through this visit in one piece. Uh, let's get it shown the President road. Kimball is arriving shortly. If you want to do any last minute security sweeps or take a look around for anything suspicious, do it now. Once you're ready, meet me outside on the observation deck. Don't take too long. Uh, investigate our clues. Do we actually have a. Uh... Oh. I'll meet you on the observation deck. Is it me, or has the Brotherhood stopped in the evening? So I feel like I'm just not to hurry this long now, which is a bit of a shame. Um. If I was the assassin, I'd be up on that ridge. Or if I didn't care about escaping, maybe that near tower. Or the landing pad behind us. Nice. 
What is it? Thanks for those pro tips, there, uh, Boone. Uh, I will. Is it me or is the Brotherhood stuffed in case? Only engineers and authorized personnel are allowed to stay. No one can go upstairs without authorization. Hmm. Why the lockdown? The president is visiting today. Ranger Grant doesn't want anyone snooping around up there that doesn't have authorization. He's all plastic upstairs. Only NCR engineers or people with explicit permission from Ranger Grant are allowed roof access. I've always wanted to see Mr. President fair to bed. Sorry, no can do. Pretty please? Okay, just this once. Make it quick though, I don't want to get in trouble for this. Who are you? Oh, there's more. But wait, here's more. Uh, who are you? We need to keep an eye out for anything suspicious. Like you? Or more? Not right now, I'm busy. Smart move for the kings to back down. They didn't know it. Nothing is gonna happen to the president on my watch. Yeah, there's nothing really happening up here. I saw somewhere. Uh, let's just save it here. Oh, we've got all sorts of stuff now. Keep an eye on the sniper locations. Okay, go on then. Morning. Have you finished your security sweep? Looks like that's his vertebrate coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. Now, if you'll excuse me, I've got some security procedures to oversee. Hey, who's that? Um, I got something behind. What was that about? <laughs> Who is that? Examine the controls when it's time for you to see anything unusual. Okay. That's interesting. Uh, Smart move for the kings to back down. Damn, they didn't know who they were messing with. Oh, die gets shot by the NCR. <laughs> you better get out of here. Watch out. Yep. Right, that makes a bit more sense. <laughs> I just walked right to a place where I was suspicious. Oh, that makes sense. Alright. Oh. I've suddenly got an ace in the hole quest. What? But I haven't. A little bit of a triggering issue there, I think. Suspicious. 
Maybe we'll let it play out and see where uh, the president gets attacked from. Oh, and they did it again. Hey, yo! <laughs> what do you know about the president's visit? He's coming to give a big fancy speech to all us troops stationed here at the dam. I'm pretty excited. He seems like such a nice guy, and I get to meet him. He's giving me a medal. I don't know why, though. I'm just doing my job like all the other guys. I'm still excited, though. Mama always told me not to talk to strangers. But you seem like a nice person. Mama left me on a farm when she went out prospecting. But when she never came back, the owner didn't want me around. He kicked me out on my own. A nice guy came up and asked me if I wanted to join the NCR. So I did. Now the troopers are my family. I like it here. Everyone is so nice. Goodbye. Bye bye. I'm just going to take another quick break. Be right back.
Right, I'm back. Have you finished your security sweep? I'm ready. When would a person be here? Looks like that's his bird of bird coming right now. It's showtime. Let's not mess this up. Now, if you'll excuse me. I think, if I remember right, he gets sniped. Smart move for the kings to back down. They didn't know who they were messing with. Controlling the Mojave almost makes you wish for a nuclear winner. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like to thank you for coming out here today to this very special occasion. It is my pleasure to introduce to you the president of the new California Republic, Aaron Kimball. Oh, there he is. Who have come so far to have the call service put forth by the Republic? It is for you that I have come here. And it is because of you that I am able to do so. It is because of men and women like Private First Class, Jeremy Watson, that Nevada and the new California Republic remain free and secure. Boarded a tin shack on the outskirts of one pine. Jeremy Watson never had any easy. His father worked as a caravan guard on the short loop. And his mother, like many Californians, braved the ruins of the old world as a prospector. They suffered through water shortages, raider attacks, and the Brotherhood War. Like our mighty Sierra Nevada, they endured. But the time came, and they could no longer shoulder the burden alone. Twelve years ago, they called out for help, and the Republic heard of them. Troopers, rangers just like you, answered the clarion call. Men and women step forward to say, I will carry the weight. I found a legion snap on the river time with a fine earth. <laughs> yeah. Damn it. I can't believe the legion actually got someone past our security. Good job catching him. I'll have a security team sweep the area to see if the legion has any more surprises for us. I'm also canceling the president's speech. We'll have a security team get him out of here right away. But let's not relax until he's safe. At a lake, we made true on our promise. Driving, driving out, out the raider tribes, tribes to establish a lasting peace in the eastern Sierra Nevada. We, we carried, carried the weight, weight. and though we, we left behind many of our brothers and sisters on that battlefield, not now. It, it did not, not break. break. <laughs> Ten, Ten years ago, the Chief of Police met, met with representatives of the Desert Rangers to discuss terms of what would what? become the Ranger Unification, Unification Treaty. Treaty. The treaty was more than a. Oh. Coffee pops.
strategic. There you go. Alright. Um, now we did a. Uh, could do with that now. Now we know there's a few places that are very hard lock pick. Oh, we also have this. Uh, pretty good. Uh, if it's crippled limb, you have to do nope. <laughs> and when you choose to explore, by every location was revealed in the map. That's nice. Uh, but no. Uh, <laughs> Yeah, why not? Do that again. This is anything else that's new now. Oh, yeah, this is new. Uh, heavy armor, this is the thing. You learn to customize light armor for maximum. While well, wearing light armor, you gain 5. Suffer a minus 25%. Ooh! Okay, no, never mind that. Awesome. Is the president safe? The president has departed safely. Good. His death could have had a major impact on morale. This whole affair was ill-advised from the start, and I, for one, am glad it's over. While you were out, General Oliver arrived and briefed all senior officers regarding a change in our strategy. I'm not at liberty to divulge what was said, but I've been instructed to send you to him immediately. He set up his camp in the office area at the south end of this power plant. Dismissed. Okay. Oh. You are committed to fight with the NCR at the Battle of Hoover Dam, which will determine the fate of New Vegas for decades to come. Is there anything you want to do before you enter the battle? Do it now. Or cross the point of no return. Not yet. Okay, this is the end. Okay. Uh, that's interesting. Didn't realize it was that quick. Okay. Um, it's best not to keep the general waiting. Let's do this. Because I think you have to come back to this point. Well, you took your sweet ass time coming here. Let's get down to brass tacks. We need to get this thing moving if we want to keep the element of surprise. What's all this about? You've done some great work for us up to this point, and we're hoping to use your unique abilities to aid us once again. Thanks to the task my subordinates have delegated to you, the NCR now has a unique opportunity. An opportunity is that? What opportunity is that? We now have a chance to take the fight to those bastards on their home turf. I'm in the beginning stages of planning out an assault on the fort. I've made calls to our allies, and they're on their way to our position. Once our forces are in place and garrison here, we'll begin our assault. Sir, I don't know what happened. A bunch of Legionnaires just stormed into the power station. Into the power station? How is that possible? I don't know, sir. There was some talk of them entering through the clog intake tunnels, but I don't have any confirmation. On my way up here, there was some chatter about their commander, the Legate, I think he's called, set up at some kind of base on the Eastern Bank. Okay, listen here. Unless we can get some additional support, I'm gonna need you to help me resolve this situation. You need to make your way to this camp they have on the Eastern Bank and take out the Legate. That should hamstring this attack. Okay, I'll take care of it. Thanks for your support. I'll make sure the NCR emergency radio is up and running. Go kill those bastards. <laughs> Good gracious. The Legion is using the intake tunnels to storm their way into the dam. Someone has to stop them. What can I do? tell? Hmm. I think that you should be able to divert the flow of the water into the generator turbines. That would grind them up like a hamburger. The computer to activate it is just ahead, but you may need to go outside to activate the manual override. That system hasn't been used in a while. I'll take care of it. Good luck. <laughs> I'm going to find a place to not get shot. Uh, at least in the second you've done, Legacy camp must be destroyed and protected. 
protect them, to protect them. Uh, so it's flushing them out. Oh, hello. They're getting calmer. Somehow I feel like uh, getting all this is not going to matter much. Oh, there's so many. Yeah, in fact, I'm going to stop picking things up because. Oh, I, I, I can't even remember. I can't remember if you get to carry on or not. Oh, damn. <laughs> I feel like you don't. Let's just grab all the stuff anyway. One more body over there. <laughs> and then we'll uh, give it all to uh, Rex. Uh oh. Drop that. Right. Now it's all stealing, apparently. <laughs> That's weird. Okay, Don't, doesn't matter. <laughs> Onward. Uh, in fact... Are they following me? I think they are. Yeah, we need to get to lower level, or power plant free. And the game crashed. <laughs> oh, yeah, I feel like this is a good excuse to uh, unfortunately wrap up this playthrough. So I'll try and bear through it and get through it. But yeah, I think um, someone in the previous stream mentioned that they'll pl uh, play on. They wanted to stream this game, but it just crashes too much. <sighs> it's a shame. It is a good game, but. Because it's early Fallout games, it's just riddled with issues. It it doesn't get too much. It doesn't get. I guess Fallout 4 is, you know, I guess it's but another first game that's got its own problems, but definitely seems more stable than the older games for sure. Oof, Steam's not liking this. Taking a while to relaunch New Vegas. Yeah, I think the signs are there. Like for example, my last stream ended on a hard crash where it completely killed my PC off. <laughs> One thing I'm noticing about these streams is, um, well, the past couple of days is that no one watches it. <laughs> Particularly, um, they did over the weekend, and I think it's mainly because I streamed during the day. But, um, Yeah, past streams I've 
done the past couple of days have been um Oh there's something there. Ah it's this. I think what was it? Up there. Might be up there. Um yeah. So I mean I'm not too bothered. I mean the um I say generally the point of these streams is more for me just to say what I'm doing, people really but oh. I need a science of sixty five or higher to uh deal with that so that is not an option. Onward. <laughs> um yeah no, it's uh Unfortunately as it is, it's more about me just uh streaming I can oh, got another ding. I may as well just charge for these, because like I say I'm not gonna be collecting anything. I really just need to get out of there, yeah. Uh, I think I went the one. Yeah. Oh, that's <laughs> no, I'm running out of ammo. Running out of ammo on this weapon. Oh, hello. Yeah, this is definitely the right way, isn't it? More in this. Oh. Oh. I don't know why NTR's running at me, punching me. Ah! Hello. To assist you. Fantastic. We got some boom resistance as well. in all the common to make up for the bad deeds I did. <laughs> Ooh. 
Yeah, if I remember right. Oh, yeah. That's yeah, a bummer. Alpha Squad reporting in. Thanks for the support back there. We've been assigned to ensure you make it to the Legate. How can we be of assistance? You have superior firepower. You can overwhelm him if you push him and advance on him. You're in charge of this operation. That sounds like a suicide mission, but all orders are to take commands from you. Unit, let's move out. Let's get going. No. Oh. Way is nuts. I think that's the door over there, isn't it? Yeah, it looks like. I think at the very end of this, we just get to there. Uh, if we've got like speech at 90, we could just dab right tell the lead, legate leader and whatever to uh, stop. Back in his beeline to the leader, and I think that's it. Eureka! These. Oh, and you are moving in. Come on. Oh. Come on. Oh, it's supposed to happen. Hey, oh. who are you to come before me? You bear the insignia of the bear, yet you do not wear it as a soldier of the West wears it. I think you got. If do, if you think you got any chance to get anything you wrong, maybe you're willing to listen to reason. Yep. I see you fight with words, like all beneath the flag of the bear. Let us hope your skill with weapons proves greater. Speech fit to fight is both decided, and that's why I'm here. So you seek quarter, terms of surrender. Our roads into NCR are hung with the bodies of those who attempted to negotiate with us. Save your speeches. We will take Hoover Dam and move forward until our feet crush the setting sun beneath them. Move forward? The Legion spent years trying to take Hoover Dam. Hoover Dam has never seen the mass strength of the East. Only legates such as Graham, who deserve the fire Kaiser blessed him with. 
Now I am here, and make markers of your people as the Legion carves its way west. And then, what of the east? You speak in circles. What of the east? I am the east, and I will prove it this day. If you need all the east to crush the west. The victory here shall be swift. Our forces shall take the dam, secure it, then build a road west on the bodies of the NCR. The east will hold. Once across the Colorado, nothing to rival Hoover Dam remains. Speech 100. I literally used speech 100. Well, there we go. It is not the strength of the west you, that will slow you, it is a weakness. Your weakness? You seek to thwart me by claiming the Legion is too strong for you? NCL's weakness is its size. It'll take your entire army to hold the west. That does not mean we would not succeed. Eventually, but moving your whole army west means losing the east. You can't hold both. The east was a hard-fought campaign. Even now, Kaisar drew too much of the Legion's blood needed there for this. Hoover Dam is but a place. I will not have it be the gravestone of the Legion, whether quickly, or as you describe, slowly, by attrition. There is a victory in Wisdom, Legate. As for Wisdom, there is wisdom in your words, Man of the West. Know that I shall return east. I shall not remain there forever. On that day, the strength of the bear shall be tested. If the West is one day filled with ones such as you, perhaps it shall be a worthy fight indeed. If you feel that war matters that much, perhaps you will see differently in time. Hmm. My coming would have saved you, set your people free in ways they cannot see. War would have tested them, broken the weak with its violence, yet allowing the strong to arise. Violence gave you that strength, awakened you. I can see it upon your face, where two bullets left their mark. Perhaps it is unfortunate Wolpex was not here to hear your words. Something tells me you would prove more than his match. Until the day when our armies meet again in CR, I shall wait for you on the battlefield. Powers of everyone, return to General Oliver. Walk out. Oh. That's a fine bit of work back there. Truth told, I'm surprised you made it out of there in one piece. You and the damn. I'm impressed to say the least, and that's no easy thing. You've secured NCR's future. The administration sends its thanks for what it's worth. It was my duty, Joe. I was glad to help out. But I don't know that I appreciate this long way. What happens now? Sometimes I wonder if the NCR wouldn't lose the whole West if they weren't sitting on it. Uh, what happens now? We clean up, take prisoners, watch the East for any more trouble from the Legion. Though I think they're still running, according to our scouts. After that, we'll see what happens when the dust settles and how the Mojave looks now without Caesar coming for its throat. Something tells me we better enjoy this breather while we can. And if that means Vegas, then you and the troops have earned it. Maybe traveling is in order. If there's nothing else to know, I'll head out. I'm going for a rest of a bit, if you don't mind. Uh, yeah. Can't keep the courier spirit down, eh? Fair enough. We'll clean up here. Kind of curious how this is going to pan out in the long run, but I guess history will tell us in its own sweet time. Uh, not sure this matters. But, uh, let's have a little look. Uh, only one more thing: your attack do much less damage to companions, allowing you to deliberately slay an area. Why not? And so the courier who had cheated death in the cemetery outside Good Springs cheated death once again and the Mojave Wasteland was forever changed. The New California Republic celebrated its second victory at Hoover Dam, establishing definitive control over the entire Mojave Wasteland. Soon after, 
they negotiated terms to annex the Strip, Freeside, and many surrounding communities. The Mojave Wasteland, at long last, had entirely fallen under the NCR's banner. The courier, fair and even-handed in his dealings throughout the Wasteland, was honored by the NCR for his support of the military at Hoover Dam. He was presented with the Golden Branch, the highest civilian decoration given by the Republic. With the help of the Gunrunners, the Boomers developed a healthy trading relationship with the NCR. Eventually, the Boomers began wandering out into the wasteland while still preventing outsiders from entering Nellis. Buried beneath tons of rubble, the Mojave chapter <laughs> of the Brotherhood of Steel was no more. Those few who were outside the Hidden Valley bunker when it was destroyed settled into new lives, or headed west to find a new chapter to join. Never weakened by NCR, the Fiends staged an attack against Camp McCarran during the Second Battle of Hoover Dam. Though NCR repulsed the Fiends, they suffered heavy losses in the process. After the NCR's victory at the dam, the followers of the Apocalypse were pushed out of Old Mormon Fort during its occupation by NCR forces. NCR further encouraged them to leave Outer Vegas entirely, and the followers had no choice but to comply. Good Springs saw more trade along I-15 after NCR gained control of the Mojave Wasteland. But with that came a heavy burden of the Republic's taxes. Some old-timers, unable to handle the cost, were forced to move on, grumbling all the while. After the Second Battle of Hoover Dam, the Great Khans returned for a time to Red Rock Canyon. The NCR's pressing need to expand proved greater than its promise of amnesty. And before long, the government decided the Khans had to go. The surviving Great Khans were relocated to an isolated barren reservation, well north of NCR trade routes. Thanks to the Courier and Lily, a cure for the Nightkin schizophrenia was found shortly after Dr. Henry's experiment concluded. Nightkin and other super mutants in the wasteland flocked to Jacobstown, and the town became known as a haven where a mutant could find peace. Lily continued to take her medicine at half doses, and although she remembered her grandchildren, her mind remained muddled and confused. Eventually, she parted ways with the courier and traveled west, seeking the remnants of her past. After the NCR victory at Hoover Dam, the temporary truce between them and the Kings blossomed into a full-scale relief effort for the people. While the NCR made repeated entreaties that Freeside join the Republic, the Kings steadfastly maintained their independence. After Ray's brain was transplanted into Rex's cybernetic body, it took Rex some time to adjust to the old scrapyard dog's memories. Eventually, Rex's mind settled peacefully melding his own memories with that of long travels with old Lady Gibson. After Hoover Dam, the leaderless powder gangers at the correctional facility vanished into the wastes, leaving the prison empty. The correctional facility became another abandoned ruin in the wasteland, its carcass occasionally picked over by enterprising prospectors. Armed with a wide array of improvised explosives and stolen weapons, the Vault 19 powder gang tormented the Mojave wasteland for years. Uh -huh. Citizens of the NCR were favorite targets, and they always suffered the worst fates. After Hoover Dam, Sheriff Myers runs Prim with his own style of frontier justice. He deals with most folks fairly, but now and then someone winds up dead with little to no evidence against them. And so the courier's road came to an end, for now. In the new world of the Mojave Wasteland, fighting continued, blood was spilled, and many lived and died just as they had in the old world. Because war, war never changes. There we are. Congratulations on completing Fallout New Vegas. Would you like to load a save prior to Hoover Dam Battle? If you said no, you'll be returned to main menu.
There you go. Uh, right, so that's it. Um, yeah. It's interesting it did that. <laughs> so I do have, uh, well, I have loaded DLC, DLC but uh, I'd say I'm not too bothered. Uh, still can do that actually. It's still not too late to do some other things here. Like still confront Benny by getting a platinum chip and stuff. Interesting. So it's one of three things I think I can do. Uh, it's it to save so. In fact, I'll save again. Just uh, oh, yeah, that's fine. Uh, what's the that though? If I load, yeah. System. Let's delete that. There we go. So, um, got three choices. Um, I know I said I'm likely gonna stop the playthrough, or end it, because of just how often it crashes. But it's one of three things. Firstly, we can just end the playthrough, leave it there. We've got a full playthrough, uh, and then we can move on to another game. Second option is we start fresh. We start fresh, go a complete different path, something I've not done before. I'm actually considering maybe Caesar's Legion. I've always never never done the bad thing. <laughs> so it'd be interesting to see the whole storyline from their perspective. Or thirdly, we can just carry on with this. We could go into DLC, we could finish off these remaining quests. Uh, yeah. I'll have a little think about it. It may likely be another game, just because I don't know. I think I got my Fallout fix. <laughs> well, especially more specifically, I think I got my classic Fallout fix from this game. It's, it's such a good game. I'll, I'm, uh, I won't be streaming for a few days now, anyway, so uh, I'll have a little bit of time to think. Uh, yeah, I will leave it there. So let's quit to main menu. <laughs> just so we've got. Uh, like a, a screen. Let's leave it on. There we go. Right. Let's move on credits. <laughs> huh? That's weird. Okay, there we go. Right. Thank you all for watching. Um, namely, anyone watching this back on YouTube because no one joined the stream, which is uh, interesting. Yeah, I guess it was mainly due to with the timing. It seems like evenings isn't big for Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, any of followers or viewers I got with this playthrough was all on weekends during the daytime. Uh, so, um, yeah. That will be that. That's still going. No, it stopped. Alright. Thank you all for watching. Take care. See you next time. Goodbye.